हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चेतन वदड़िया एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सीबीएसई क्लास 10th मैथ्स एक्सरसाइज 2.1 चैप्टर नंबर 2 पॉलीनोमियल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 द ग्राफ ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू पीएक्स आर गिवन इन द इन द फिगर 2.10 बिलो फॉर सम पॉलीनोमियल्स फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ जीरोस ऑफ पी ऑफ एक्स इन ईच केस सो व्हाट एक्चुअली इट इज फॉर एनी गिवन पॉलीनोमियल वी कैन ड्रॉ ग्राफ एंड वी कैन फाइंड आउट जीरो फ्रॉम द ग्राफ if quadratic is given to you if cubic is given to you or bi quadratic is given to you any polynomial is given to you then you can draw graph out of that this is so how you can draw graph and how you can find out zeros out of that let me tell you actually we need to take y equals to 2x square plus 5x plus 3 y equals to and one by one we have to put values of x equals to 0 or x equals to 1 and x equals to 2 like that and we will get many solutions so we need to find out four or five solutions of x and y we are supposing x 0 then we will get y something then 1 0 to so something then x 2 and something like that and then we need we can represent that on the graph but here in this polynomials you are not going to get straight line in linear polynomial we are getting straight line right this we had learned in class 9 but here we are going to get curves let me tell you for quadratic you will get parabola and this curve is called parabola so this type of pair of different parabolas you will get for quadratic right so this type of parabolas you will get for quadratic so from that we can find out that how many zeros we will get so how many times this line intersect x axis that much zeros you will get suppose this is the graph and this is your line how many times this line is intersecting x axis no time so here you will get no zeros okay now in this this line is intersecting one time to x axis so 1 0 in this line you can see three times it is intersecting three times on x axis so you will get three zeros then here you can see this parabola is intersecting two times so here you will get two zeros here this is intersecting four times you can see this four times so four zeros and in last one 1 2 3 so three zeros so this way you can find out the zeros from the given polynomial thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much